The calls are continuing from lawmakers across the state and the aisle, saying Governor Cuomo shouldn't be this powerful. Democratic State Senator Alessandra Biaggi tweeted, quote, Cuomo stated nursing homes were told they were to accept COVID positive nursing home patients, quote, if they could. The 325 directive does not have if they could language. State Assemblyman Ron Kim also tweeted, quote, we must repeal Cuomo's legal immunity for nursing home executives now. No more excuses. This comes after a scathing report by the state attorney general that the Cuomo administration underreported nursing home deaths due to COVID-19, something the governor has adamantly denied. New York State DOH has always fully and publicly reported all COVID deaths in nursing homes and hospitals. Nearly a year ago, when New York began to experience an unprecedented health crisis, the state legislature passed a bill lawmakers thought would help oust the deadly virus. But buried in the bill was a part that allowed Governor Andrew Cuomo to suspend, modify, and create laws by issuing directives and executive orders. Now, a year later, the governor has issued more than 230 directives. One that mandated nursing homes to take in COVID positive patients resulted in the deaths of more than 15,000 nursing home residents across the state. I've called for the governor to resign at this point because this is inexcusable. I mean, they they purposely misled the public. And amid this backlash, another blow to the Cuomo administration, allegations of sexual assault and harassment by former aide Lindsey Boylan. Governor Cuomo has denied any inappropriate behavior took place, but now the White House is weighing in. When a person comes forward, they deserve to be treated with dignity and respect. Their voice should be heard, not silenced, and any allegation should be reviewed. New York's state of emergency expires Friday, but the governor can renew it indefinitely. We reached out to the governor's office about the call to repeal his emergency powers, but our request hasn't been answered. Jessica Easthope, Currents News. If you're watching Currents News on YouTube, be sure to hit the subscribe button and click on the bell to get updates to all of our newest content, because we are putting your faith in the news.